let me just show you how I'm doing this in scientific workplace. Maybe some of you want to try it. Uh, what I'm doing is that I have to be in mathematical uh, modus uh, and I must use this function assume real and clicking on this and using evaluate I'm just informing the program that uh, all my variables are going to be considered as real the input variable x, y, and r. So what I'm doing here is that he the center of my circle is uh, has x uh, has x value x and uh, y value y. Um, here is the argument uh, value, and what's this? Well, it's the description of the circle centered at x plus uh, i y and with uh, this radius. We uh, know that we are assumed, uh, the circle is assumed to go through the point minus one and uh, by choosing this radius I ensure that uh, this is going to happen. Okay, next I want to use this vector. Uh, the real part of this vector is here and the imaginary part of the vector is here and I also want to use this vector because uh, now I'm uh, considering the um, the Yukovsky um, transform which is here uh, I want to in the x-coordinate of uh, what I'm defining here I want to use the real part and the imaginary part in the y part uh, so, what I'm doing next is to define this function. I must, must tell uh, scientific workplace that this function should be defined, uh, and I'm doing this. I'm writing new definition and doing the same on these uh, two um, uh, functions. I've done this already, so I'm not going to bother you with doing it once more. Um, next, let's say that I want to I want to illustrate the circle, right? Uh, let scientific workplace uh, sketch the, the, this circle. Um, maybe in some point um, uh, 0 0.1 0 0.2 in the y value. Um, I don't do anything with this because this is the argument which are going to uh, be used in the calculation of this. So what I'm doing next is to write, to click on compute plot 2D uh, and I'm using parametric and this looks like an ellipse. Let me show you. Mm. Like this, but it is not an ellipse. Uh, so I'm telling, I'm just telling scientific workplace that it should use uh, equal scaling along each axis, like this. This looks better. Okay. I can also uh, now go into. Maybe you don't see it perfectly better this way. Um, okay. If I'm going to illustrate the Yukovsky airfoil, uh, then I need to use the function g instead. Let me now click on this and I click on this and go to item plot and add an item here which is 
G. So now I'm um, going to illustrate the 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 Yurkovsky air file. Okay. So this was calculated rather quickly. Um, if I'm going to use animations, uh, let me show you how this can be done. Let's remove this first. Um, by using animations, I can, for example, uh, well, I can fix the x value and uh, letting the y value be some parameter. Let's call it t, for example, and I'm clicking here on this. And instead of writing plot 2D, I'm going to plot, t plot 2D animated. And then I'm going to the same item here, parametric, like this. Takes a little bit more time, and the ellipse here is. Uh, rather small so in this case we have just illustrated the circle um, let me show you how we can change this ugly picture well we here have here the animation the y value is going from 0 to 10 and it's uh, we can change this to minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 and well this R value this is actually argument value uh, I think it's okay I'll try this um, and I'm not only going to to illustrate the circles, I also want to illustrate the Yurkovsky, Yurkovsky uh, airfoils. So let me do this. I add some item here, and the function of the Yurkovsky airfoils are called G. Um, and well, okay. What's happening now? Well, that was okay. So, when clicking on this red bullet, I can now illustrate this. But I see what I did wrong, um, because you see, I didn't choose uh, equal scaling. So, let me do this first. So no, it looks better. So for different uh, center values, uh, we get different um, uh, Yurkovsky airfoils, and you see how c you can change this uh, animation into whatever you like.